Greetings, ICC fans. Thanks for tuning in to Game of the Week. As always, I'm your host, Joel Benjamin. Hikaru Nakamura is a young player of undeniable talent. After rising like a meteor, his play seemed to sag for a while. His results in American events were inconsistent, and he seemed often insufficiently prepared in the opening. But perhaps all Hikaru needed was a little European vacation. In what may be a watershed moment in his career, Nakamura dominated the Casino de Barcelona tournament held from October 18th to 26th. Nakamura's 7 from 9 score put him a point clear of second place finisher Lenier Dominguez. Naka ripped off six wins, five of them over grandmasters and some quite strong ones. Dominguez, Vaganian, Krasenkov, Ieskis and Narciso. Nakamura showed remarkable versatility, winning on both sides of the Catalan, winning with the King's Indian, winning with the Nimzo Indian. There's plenty to choose from for today's game. Hikaru's opening round win over Fluvia included an amazing king march up the H-file with a queen and rook still on the board. I got a request on ICC to do that game, but the next day, Another message asked me to do Nakamura's second game. That request I will honor. Krasenkov Nakamura may not be terribly complex, but it is especially aesthetic. The queen sacrifice in this game will surely be entered into sacrificial anthologies. Watch and enjoy. All righty, this week's game, playing white, Grandmaster Michael Krasenkov playing black, Hikaru Nakamura. And we open the game with knight f3, knight f6, c4. This is uh, kind of a flexible opening approach, uh, which is uh, common uh, for a lot of d4 players, a lot of players who like d4 openings, but perhaps want to avoid the Grunfeld, uh, which uh, Nakamura is known to play on occasion or um, perhaps um, they want to play an English type position without allowing e5 for black. We see e6, g3, so uh, with this move order, uh, queen pawn game, but black is not allowed the uh, Nimzo Indian defense, or the Bogo Indian defense for that matter, d5. And we see Nakamura playing the uh, Catalan uh, for black here, um, which you also uh, played the white side of very effectively in this tournament as well. And uh, the Catalan has been a, a very strong weapon on the white side for Vladimir Kramnik in recent times. He's had an amazing score winning uh, this with this opening for white. Uh, but in this game, um, Krasenkov holds back the D-pawn, does not play D4, which is the more common approach. And here we see b3, a move more in the, st in the style of uh, Richard Reddy and the first great uh, hypermodern players. White is not out to occupy the center so quickly, uh, playing for a double fincetto and a slower buildup in the center. Now Nakamura is known as an aggressive tactician, so Krasenkov uh, probably felt that a boring type opening uh, might well keep him from developing an attack. And it is an irony that sometimes the greatest attacking games come out of openings where you wouldn't expect it to happen. Here Nakamura plays a5. This is an interesting idea. Um, certainly, as, as an alternative, black can play a much more classical approach with c5, looking to occupy the center. And uh, very often... Um, white will play this move e3 in the style of Benoni in case black advances d4. We can have this kind of position. Black could, uh, as I said, create a type of Benoni play by playing d4. Or he can uh, fianchetto the bishop with uh, b6. 
this is certainly more classical 